Hi everyone, today we're taking a look back at the Anacrusis, an early access game that I can only really describe as Left 4 Dead in space. But if you want to be technical, it's a 4 player co-op first person shooter on a starship straight out of a 70s sci-fi show. Honestly, I can hardly believe it's been a year since the Anacrusis hit early access. It doesn't seem that long and time really does fly. I've revisited the game a couple of times over the past year, it's been a little while since my last outing though. It's had a constant stream of updates and dev blogs over the last year with some welcome changes to the AI and the addition of modular weapons to give more variety to the four base weapons in the game. Not only souping up those base models but also adding variations within those giving some very different weapon experiences. Not to mention the addition of a variety of new special weapons, including some special versions of those base weapons, such as the Stasis SMB. Think an SMG but energy based, which basically slows down time for anything you hit. Nice to see some of those death animations in slow motion, might I add. And the Rooter, a plasma rifle that fires an energy ball that spreads between enemies, and you might also find the Sunshot, a blaster, aka a flamethrowing shotgun. And that's just three, there's at least another one which is an upgraded plasma rifle, and who knows what else they've added to the game. Though honestly for me, as far as the special weapons go, it's all about the rocket rocket launcher, no that wasn't a stutter. It's a rocket launcher that fires a rocket that fires more rockets out of that rocket which still explodes like a rocket. And of course, they added Barry. During the last year, they've also managed to squeeze in the beta of Chapter 4 of the base game's campaign and a horde mode where you have to survive infinite waves of aliens. Not to mention weekly events that you have to complete, which are tasks where there have been other adjustments to the levels, and they've added a season pass, which is mainly about unlocking cosmetics and things. It's something extra to work towards while you're playing early access. Some of the aliens have also had a bit of an overhaul, they've changed some of the death animations as well and added a few extra ones. And seemingly they've added at least one other special to the game which was quite a surprise when it appeared. The Anacrusis is a game best played with friends, there's no denying that, but you can play a private game with the AI who are reasonably capable and do teleport to you when they get stuck behind. That unfortunately doesn't always work out as sometimes they don't teleport to you quite as soon as they should and they get stuck on a different level while you're busy getting killed and can't do anything about it. I really think they need to add a teleport to me button for when you're playing with the AI. Allied AI aside, which has certainly improved since it was first launched, the enemy AI are also fantastic and the AI controller that controls all of the enemy AI in the game adapts to your capability. So if you're doing badly, it slows things down. If you're doing well, it will throw more at you. So the difficulty level is quite nicely balanced. Of course, there is the option of turning it up to intense rather than just normal difficulty, which means there is an extra level there if you're wanting to make life hard for yourself. This year has also seen the introduction of the Steam Workshop mod support, and as a result, some brand new campaigns made by members of the community are now available. Not only that, but the developers are working with those community members who have made them and added them as a default download to the game so that people can play them without having to go and find them on the Steam Workshop. And it also allows the users who have made these fantastic modded campaigns to get feedback on what they've done a bit more readily than perhaps if they just had people randomly downloading it once in a while. So it's safe to say that the Anacrusis has gone through a lot of updates and changes over the last year with plenty more updates planned. Obviously they've got the rest of the campaign to finish. Part 4 for example needs to come out of beta but they also want to add more interesting stuff, more interesting weapons to the game over the rest of the early access period. Not to mention of course continued updates to the AI and every other system in the game. As I say, the Anacrusis is a lot of fun with friends, so if you have a group of friends and you enjoyed playing things like Left 4 Dead with them, I'd certainly recommend giving it a go. They've had a free weekend before, I'm sure they'll do another one. 
It's also on sale on Steam till the 19th of January at 67% off. I think that works out at about £8 sterling, so that's not bad at all for a game that I guarantee you will last at least four or five hours just playing the normal campaign, never mind doing any of the other stuff and the modded stuff. And that's playing the campaign once. These things are designed to be played multiple times as the AI gets gradually harder and harder for you. And obviously things spawn in different locations, different weapons or special weapons spawn, different grenades spawn. Indeed, very little might spawn because you're doing far too well and the AI controller or the game controller has decided that you're having too much of an easy time and need to be punished. Of course, do bear in mind that it'll take a few runs before the internal AI system has picked up exactly the level you're playing at. The dev team are very responsive to the community, so if you have suggestions and things, then they do look at all of this and quite often discuss what people have asked for in their dev blogs. So if you get in while it's in early access, you have a chance to have your say as well. And that brings me to the end of this video, which is a little look back on Anacrusis in its first year of early access. Thanks again to the team over there for the keys they provided me so that I could do some videos on this early on. I'm so pleased to see they're keeping up with all of these fantastic updates. Thanks for watching everyone. Please do like, share, subscribe and I'll see you all soon.